What's going on, guys? Welcome to December's episode of Game of the Month, the show where we pick a game at random every month, and throughout the month we play it, and at the end of the month we talk about it. My name's Seth. I'm Chevy. And uh, this is the last episode of 2019 uh, for Tasty Loot Gaming, so uh, fucking hopefully everyone had a great year, and uh, hopefully you have an even better year next year, which is coming right the fuck up, but before then... Quick reminders that we recently just did Plus Club. Make sure to check that out. We talked about Titanfall 2 and Monster Energy Supercross. It's the last time I got to say that fucking name again. <laughs> and uh, we don't know what the PlayStation Plus games are yet. So when those get revealed, we'll tell you guys. And you guys will probably already know. And we'll have a conversation about that. Uh, and then, yeah, our game of the month this month was picked by you guys. That is Sea of Thieves. We'll be discussing that here in a second. Uh, but before that, we should probably pick our first game of 2020. Oh, yeah. Randomly picked. Which is going to be first game of 2020. January's game is... I'm going to hit the generate button a bunch of times. I'm going to look down. And... 25. How? Vindictus. Ooh. I haven't fucking played that in like eight years. So, uh, in January... We'll be, what do you mean how? <laughs> <laughs> we we just, literally just expanded the list to 25. We just added like four new games to the list. We're not going to talk about what those are, though. It's a surprise. But um, some of them are newer. Uh, but yeah, we just hit 25. Yeah, had I not shuffled that, that would have been the last one you mentioned. Yeah. Which I would have been fine with because it was my suggestion. But uh, Vindictus, it's uh, free to play. So uh, if does it still exist? Pretty sure. Well, we'll yeah, look into that real fast because that that was a while ago that we added that. Uh, yeah, so Vindictus is a free to play uh, action RPG MMO uh, four player co op co op co op game where you run around and kill shit. And uh, yeah, if it's still available, that will be our game of the month for January. Also, quick reminders that we have Discord link down below. You can talk to us anytime, all the time, or on iTunes, Spotify, and other podcast platforms. If you prefer to listen to us. So yeah, in December, we played Sea of Thieves. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to play Sea of Thieves, it is a four-player cooperative pirate sandbox where you jump on a ship with your friends or random people, go around, you pillage, you loot, you grab treasure, you fight other pirates, and you just do pirate shit. We both played it. Let's, uh, let's jump into our impressions. What are your impressions of Sea of Thieves in the month of December? Um, so yeah, I originally... I, po- I bought this game when it first came out, and I know you and Chris jumped on Game Pass, and we all tried it then. And I remember my early impressions of the game was like that it was really neat, but mm. it was missing a bunch of stuff. So it was really nice to be able to come back and revisit it because it has been a while at this point, and I know yeah. they have aggressively added things to it. Um, so that being said, you know, played this month. I, I had a chance to play with some community members. That was a lot of fun. Um, that was almost important for me to do this month outside of wanting to do that. But because it was the community pick, mm -hmm. I was like, this is a game that we can all play together. So I tried to get as much people in as possible. Although only like three or four people even. Yeah. Well, December was a tricky month, I think for a lot of people for sure, which is something I'll be thinking about going into next year. But yeah, it, I mean, everyone's busy Mm -hmm. during December. So for sure. So. But uh, yeah, so got to play. Um, I had completely forgotten how to play, so I just kind of uh, played follow the leader with the the community members that I did play with, and um, you know, overall, I I had a good time. I I can't think of a moment in the game that I um, got frustrated with it or or had a bad time with it. The game's still really good to look at. Uh, it has a, a really neat style and charm to it, uh, especially when you run into like. You know, essentially one of the monsters will be it like the crack in the megalodon or, or whatever they have like a, a scary yet also like i don't know cartoony vibrant look to them mm. and i really like that about it um even your character designs are very like i mean it's rare they, they make very um imaginative i guess it would be a good word um character designs and, and uh enemies and whatnot um you know, I, as far as like playing the game, you know, we did a few missions and uh, we did manage to get into some combat, both PVE and PVP, and the game still feels really good. I and something I liked about it before, and I still enjoy about it now. Um, 
it does seem like there is more to do and more randomly generated things to do while you're mm-hmm. out and about as well. So you're always busy. And and that is that is good because it was one of the things I was kind of concerned about when I originally played the game was that it did not just it just didn't have enough content. Solid base wasn't enough there. And it seems like they have addressed that. I do think it still needs a little more personally. I don't think it has enough content, but I'll get yeah. into that when I talk about it. Um, but uh, as far as just like hanging out with people and playing a game. This is kind of a perfect game for that. I really enjoy just being able to like play a game and be able to like just bullshit with people the whole time I was playing. And it never felt like a detriment to the gameplay. Cause I know like you can play something like, I guess a good example would be like call of duty, which when you're in the heat of the moment, it might be hard to like chit chat with each other or, or any, um, I, kind of- I actually fucking hate chit chatting when I play COD because like, or any competitive game because uh, I'm trying to strategize and win because I'm mm-hmm. a competitive dude. I'm not like getting pissed if I lose. I'm actually fucking super chill about it, but I also want to win. So like when people are like, bah, 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 like and they're having fun, whatever, it's fine. For me, it gets kind of frustrating because I'm like, I'm trying to listen and pay attention to what's happening in the game and I'm trying to listen to them because I'm going to listen to, I always prioritize what people have to say to me over what I'm playing, but it's frustrating because I want to be in the zone and right. play better and I'm sitting there trying to have conversations with the people and I'm like, and then I go to communicate something and they're busy talking about something else and I'm like, whoo, it's rough. So yeah, games that are more like casual or more cooperative based are always a better chit chat game for me well except for obviously in lobbies that's different for sure and well and the other example i was going to give too even in a a, a cooperative sense um that's also something that doesn't work if you're doing to use mmos as example if you're doing uh raiding and stuff like that chit chats usually needs to be put to the side so people can make calls and stuff done it a million times you're doing it for some fucking reason that you just gotta knock it out yeah i i would not want to be playing an mmo with a big group of people and some guys like yeah i went fucking down to the store today you want to believe what the hell i saw right i'd be like we can talk about that a little bit focusing yeah exactly yeah yeah. it's the exact same thing yeah yeah and so uh, like if you're playing a fighting game Unless you're casually just like drinking and having fun with the fighting game. If I'm playing a fighting game with someone and they're trying, someone's trying to chat me up, I'm like, hold on a second. I'm trying to pay attention to what the yeah. fuck they're doing. There's, there's, a, there's a level of focus required. And one thing that I really appreciate about this game is is you can have that. Obviously, in PvP, you know, it does work out that way. But even then, it still feels kind of like relaxed. Mm-hmm. And I think that's just because of... Um, essentially, the pacing of the game. And just the, the fact that like death isn't permanent. Yeah. Right? It's just an inconvenience for a moment it's it's an inconvenience but it's also a gameplay mechanic because if you're in combat with another group of people it's important that they that they make you take your time to get back into the fight for sure if you're just re- instantly respawning then the the long course of fights shooting cannonballs and trying to sink somebody uh would lose it, it would feel wasted because people are just showing up again like well and I, it would become really fatiguing too i think sure so uh, Whereas you actually feel like you're getting, you know, um, or even if you were fighting like an NPC ship or something like that, and one of you got killed, there's that like, oh shit, I got to wait to get back, you know, yeah. blah, 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 while they're still fighting. So that that kind of stuff matters for sure. Yeah. Um, and then other than that, just exploration, which is the same reason, you know, you play a game like No Man's Sky, for example, or, um, you know, Minecraft and stuff like that. You can just go out and, and look for things and it's all just kind of randomly or procedurally generated depending on what game we're talking about here but in this case you know um randomly because i think the map is the same it's always the same yeah, yeah. so but it's just certain npc not npcs well i guess enemy npcs but like items and stuff that's all random yeah like the ashen key master and shit those For are sure. randomly placed on islands um just so but yeah to wrap up my my just my overall impressions i think this game is a wonderful social experience that has gameplay stuff to do while you're in it and does have moments where obviously like you do have to focus and there's skill involved, but it's never to the point where like, you're going to feel bad if like, you're not as sharp as another person, for example. Um, I don't know. I think they had a, they have a really great idea here. And just like last time, you know, I played this game, I just kind of wish there was a little more to do, but there's enough there to play, especially with people. I mean, I played while having, some drinks and I was able to do that just fine as well. So like, I don't know, there's, there's a lot of, of positiveness to being able to just play this game. I just want to have reasons to want to go back besides the social stuff. So, yeah. Uh, 
I agree with most stuff you said. I hop back into this. Uh, first, I play with some random people. Glad to see that that's even a thing. When I first played it, I don't think you could do that. Um, and that was cool. Told the first guy I saw, who seemed to be the captain of the ship, I was like, hey, I haven't played this in a long time. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. He's just like, I. I was like, all right, as long as we're on the same page. Uh, and then I got a chance to hop in with community members and uh, play around for a while, which was a lot more fun. Um, and this game, um, has, I, I want to say it's come a long way. I don't think it has. I think it's just become more refined. Uh, like you said, we played it when it first came out a little bit. Um, it felt like an unfinished game that looked really good, um, with a really cool concept. And I think it's pretty much still that except for it does feel finished in the sense that like, this is what the game could be. I hope it's not, I want more from it. Um, uh, but, but this game's day and night when it comes to playing by yourself or playing with friends. Yeah. Um, my grade is actually uh, in conflict with with those two things, um, and I'll get into that when we talk about that. But um, this game is a simplistic game that's got some complicated things to it. So the combat's simplistic, the general idea is simplistic, uh, and pretty much just how to play the game is pretty simplistic. But it's got all these like nuanced systems. Uh, if you're holding a map, you can pull up and look at it, but you can also turn it and show someone else it. Or if you're holding something you want to eat it, you can hand it to someone else and they can take it and eat it. It's got all these systems that you don't see in a lot of games. Really fucking good stuff. In fact, this game, in my opinion, is missing things, but the things it does do, it does really fucking well. Like, really fucking good. But, uh, but because that simplicity and the, because there's no, like, leveling and no, like, grind or whatever, this is a game I can't, I can't hop in by myself. Because mm-hmm. there's... All you do is you make money in the game to buy cosmetic stuff, which uh, by itself isn't enough to keep me playing a game. And even playing with friends, if that was the only thing to do, which is pretty much the only thing to do, it wouldn't really keep me in it. But the dynamic events that happen, the situations you get in with people when you're playing with them, the stories you're able to tell, the random stuff you encounter when you run into random people, all these things... uh, I always equate it to like daisy light. It kind of gives me a daisy feel in the sense that you are playing a game, but there's other people also playing it and your interactions with each other will dictate the gameplay. So for instance, me and uh, Jeremy played um, at one point and we played for like five or six hours and like almost nothing happened. We were just like playing and we're like making money and shit and it was fun. And then the next time we played, uh, I actually fucking made a video. Make sure to go check that out. I think it's called The Curious Curse of the Unsinkable Sloop. Check that out. That'll happen within an hour and a half. Everything in that video happened within an hour and a half. And it, we were just getting fucking hammered by everything that can like happen to you in that fucking game. So gameplay can, can differentiate, um, which is, yeah, I think... One of the stronger parts of this game is that just the dynamic nature of it. But uh, it's amazing how much this game changes once you add people to it. Yes. If I play by myself, I like it in a chill manner. I like to just kind of, you know, go around at my own pace. I'll put some music on, listen to a podcast, watch the waves, which are fucking gorgeous. I've been playing this on PC, on Game Pass, and uh, it is beautiful. Mm-hmm. It has a simplistic look. It is by no means low graphics, though. Yeah. It is very good looking. These are some of the best waves I've ever seen in a game. And it really makes combat like tricky, too. It's awesome. The yeah. physics of the ships. It's amazing that they have these ships with people and random fucking tr- treasure chests and shit placed on these ships. All stay on those ships while those ships are fucking moving around on a server with other people who are doing the exact same thing almost perfectly uh if you watch the intro you're gonna see some shit i encountered that wasn't so perfect but uh but it's it's really kind of a feat that they've done with this game um so yeah i I don't know this game is really weird because it's like impressive and okay in some ways i don't know there's like this there's a simplistic some uh simplistic charm to it um but some of the underlying workings of it are actually more complex than you think they are. It's really weird. For sure. I mean, like I said before, though, it's mostly just like it's it's a sandbox for you and your friends mm-hmm. to play and, and be pirates in. Um, and I think it does that really well. Um, and when this game is fun with your friends, it is an experience you're not getting in any other game. And that's really fucking crazy. That's a really big claim uh, for me to make, I guess. But I can't think of another game like this uh, for this exact 
um, these exact scenarios to be taking place. So I, I really um, enjoy it for that. Uh, in fact, since playing it multiple times now with community members, um, it's pretty much the only game I've been wanting to play all month. So that's that's really cool. Uh, it's given me an experience that the other games I'm playing right now aren't giving me. For sure. Um, that all being said, this game needs more content. Yeah. I keep trying to look up roadmaps and, and future plans for the games. I can't find shit on it, which kind of freaks me out. I'm sure they have stuff planned. But everything I look up, it's like stuff that's already out. So I'm like, okay, so what's the next step? Because you got a really cool fucking platform here. You've made a solid fucking foundation. I mean, this game already, as is, is great. I can keep playing this, but for how long? We need more stuff. We need more activities. We need more random things to do. We need more mission types. We we need more enemy types, for mm. sure. Um, I'd like to see more aquatic life in the game. Um, more random events. I mean, like, the, the, all of them that already exist, they're all awesome. The storms are fucking awesome. Lower the fucking lightning strikes, though. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> By a lot. They hit way too much. Yeah. It's not It's not even rare. It's like every storm I'm getting hit like at least six times. It's too much. Uh, just lower that percentage. It's perfect because I think the storms are really neat. Your wheel starts going all over the fucking place. The wind's blowing your fucking ship all over the place. It changes the dynamic of everything. You get into a storm, you're like, ah, shit. And you you have to you have to concentrate. You're not just going across the sea anymore. Um, more stuff like that. Really cool stuff that they, that they have in the game already. The Megalodon's interesting even though... They're kind of a, a really subtle event. There's not really much going on there. The Kraken is an event um, that I think is really neat. Uh, it's something you want to avoid. Even if you're not worried about it, you know, sinking your ship, it's still a process to get through mm -hmm. it. It will, it will completely change what's been going on with your mission. You, things could be going great. That happens. You're like, ah, fuck, we got to deal with this. Um, and then, yeah, the ghost ships are really fucking cool. I'd like to see more stuff like that. I want to see more NPC or enemies, though. Uh, just because it's just skeletons, mm -hmm. different kinds of skeletons. It's some really neat ones. I like the gold ones that like you can't hurt. You can shoot them, but like once they walk out in water, they rust. I mean, these are all really cool ideas. So I just want more of that. Mm -hmm. But I also love the simplicity of it. I love that. I do love that the game is um, more about the the adventure. I'm mean, getting money to just change the way you look and stuff over abilities and leveling stuff like that because then it would turn into something a little more precise like well the best thing you want to do to level quickly is this and you just keep doing that over and over and over again because that's what it would turn into so the game has a freedom to it which it should as a pirate game to just set sail and fucking go at it and and find your own adventure yeah and uh and i really love that um i'd love to see new weapons as well no, you know, don't don't throw in a shitload of different types of weapons, but add like one or two new things, some new instruments, like just a little bit more of everything. I think I would be I awesome. I want to give a shout out to the the instruments and just the the social features in general. I think are just a blast. Yeah, yeah. add more social features. I want to see like uh, being able to like arm wrestle or fucking play poker. I I don't play card games, but it'd be neat for some people. Just more social features because that's what this game is. It's a social game. Um, and it's really cool. I fucking love it. I think it's a really good game. Um, it's just, it's it's frustrating to see how good this game is and and see that there's there's so much potential to add more. And I don't know if we are getting more. And I don't know what that's gonna be. Um, like I said, I've looked up shit. I can't I can't find a whole lot of info on it. But um, unless they're just working on the next one at this point, next Sea of Thieves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not what I would want though. I th this game's like just perfect to just like add more stuff to it so um that would actually kind of suck but i would take it but this game i don't think they've made the name sea of thieves a strong enough brand to be making two already mm -hmm. they should just make this game the quintessential pirate game where everybody's like yeah sea of thieves is fucking sick because most people i know don't even play the game and then the people who do play it like it mm -hmm. or played it and then stop playing i talked to um uh Oh god, who was it? She was talking about how like she likes playing it, but like every, all of her friends don't want to play it anymore and shit like that. So like that seems to be a pretty common thing. It doesn't have certain things to hold people in the game, and uh, and that sucks. So there's a lot of potential there. A lot of shit you can do with that game. I really enjoy it, and when it's fun, it is a fucking blast. Um, but uh, that's dependent on uh, you know who you're playing with and what you're doing. 
if you're playing by yourself, it can be uh, a really pretty game to look at, but not necessarily the funnest thing in the world. You gotta you gotta really make your own adventure when you play that game. For sure. So, and uh, but yeah, I uh, I played it way more this month than I thought I would. I kind of waited later to play it, but I played the shit out of it, and uh, I've been really enjoying it. I want to play it right now. I'm talking about it. And uh, I made a 45 minute movie fucking based off one of our, our adventures and uh, yeah, really, really dug it. So um, I'm glad to see that it has come, uh, you know, pretty far from where it was when it first came out. But I still think there's like so much more they can do with this game. Um, but what they have so far, I think is solid. It's yeah, completely sure. solid. And, and yeah, and I, and I agree with that. And actually, I think, uh, you know, listening to you talk about like. Uh, wanting to see more social features. One of the first things I thought about was more reasons to stick around in town. Um, as an example, like mm-hmm. being able to like sit at the, in the bar and like maybe like play poker with people or like, you know, stuff just like random, like there should be, like there should be social stuff in towns. There should also be things that you can buy for your ship that are social, mm. not like upgrades that make you better than the other ships, but like, Oh, now there's like, Oh, on my ship, I, I spent the money and bought like, the poker table yeah. or I bought, you know, this or that or dice or something like that. And so while you're out on the ship, just going, people can be like playing games and stuff. I mean, yeah. like, I think that'd be fucking awesome for sure. For sure. And plus there's pets in the game, but they're like 20 bucks a pop. I got to use, uh, I say use everyone can interact with them, but they always will follow the person they own. Only reason I know this is because one the pets, one, yeah. One of the okay. people I played with had a monkey and I, continuously put it in the cannon and just kept shooting it out and it would come back and scream at its owner (laughs) yeah but regardless of that i think it's kind of bullshit it's 20 bucks no for that should be in-game features they're they're expensive yeah well it's real money i don't care about expensive it's just weird that it's 20 bucks in real life yeah like there's pets in the game but you can only buy them with real money it's weird yeah i can understand if they did like premium pets or whatever but like there's already few pets in the game and they're just real money fucking things so that's kind of shitty i'd like to see them add uh in-game pets i don't care if they're expensive or whatever with the gold you gotta have something to work towards but that's a really lame um uh decision that they made in my opinion so yeah anything else all right uh so yeah let's jump into recommendations what would you who would you recommend it to i think i could recommend this to pretty much everybody after a certain age point because i do think there is a a level of uh a know-how i guess you need to have uh to to exist in the game i think if uh you're too young you're just gonna get frustrated so but i do think uh i think pretty young kids could play this yeah kids are smarter than a lot of people give them credit for like uh Especially kids who play like games, which is all kids now. When mm-hmm. we were you know younger, certain kids did that, but and we were playing like fucking like tactical RPGs and shit with number crunching and stuff. I mean, like I feel like a kid could at least playing with someone who's telling them what to do. Like, hey, turn the fucking wheel, and the kids like, okay, like right. it's, it's like all one button push shit and simplistic combat and stuff like that. But I wouldn't give this controller over to like a fucking four year old or five year old. But I, I think right. like a ten year old could play this game. Easily. Yeah, I, yeah, I was thinking like. 12 and up, I guess, but, yeah. um, just because of all besides, you know, the game having some complicated things to it, um, mostly just the social stuff, you're going to talk to people and you can't control people say, so, um, other than that, uh, the game is super accessible. Like you can play at any skill level or, or pace you want. So, um, I can't really think of too many people unless you just don't like games that are like heavily social like this, or you just can't, or, you, or if you have to have progression. Because if you have to have that, this game's not going to do anything for you. Or if so. you don't, if you don't like games where you can possibly get trolled or get fucked with, I mean, this game is that. So yeah. not always, but it's the the opportunity's there for sure. Um, uh, although mo- people are way more civil now than they were when I first played it. But I guess the game was brand new then. Everybody's like, oh, I got to find the first person and fucking murder them. Right. Now I'm sure everybody's just trying to fucking live their life and play the game and make money like everybody else. Well, in a weird sort of way, that kind of reminds me of like, and I brought it up already, but like No Man's Sky is kind of sandboxy with multiplayer and you can troll other people, but most time people are just trying to like coexist. So, but 
Yeah. I mean, I don't, I haven't played it uh, in a social sense, so I don't know. Um, so everybody pretty yeah, much, pretty much. I, I can't think of too many people I would say wouldn't be able to play it. So, yeah. Um, I feel like everybody could play this and, but to different degrees, I think certain people are going to play longer than others. Um, just because of not everyone likes to make their own adventure in games. A lot of people need structure. A lot of people, I mean, you don't even like open world games that much. So, I mean, like, sure. And I can't play this by myself. Well, that's what, that's, that. that's what, I, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like there's different people to different varying degrees that will like this game. So I would definitely say that if you're into social type games, this is for you. Definitely. If you like pirate stuff, this is for you. Definitely. Um, if you like games like Daisy and survival games, uh, there's a little bit of light, uh, social uh, features that remind me of that in this. Uh, if you're into MMOs, I think you could probably dig this uh, action game. So yeah, most most people, I just feel like there's the evidence is there. A lot of people don't stick with the game and the people who do stick with it obviously like something about it. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it's 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 so much of a social game that that like I said, the amount of fun you have when you're playing with people versus when you're not playing with people. And there's some people out there who might enjoy playing this game by themselves completely. But from my own experience in talking to people, it seems like most people have more fun when they play with their friends. Um, and so, you know, that's such a huge factor. So this, this is in my opinion, a very social game. And, uh, that's my strongest recommendation is if that's what you're looking for. If you want to hang out with people, uh, you know, online and, and do stuff in, in a game. That's what this game's for. Mm -hmm. It does it really well. Uh, I just wish it had more content. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I could pretty much recommend it to most people. I just, yeah, it's, it's kind of tricky because, um, everybody with an asterisk. At the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because certain people are going to stick with this and certain people aren't. Right. So pretty, pretty quick. So yeah. Uh, all right, let's jump into grades. I'll go first okay. since I've put that on you twice now. Um, this is really tough for me because when I think about the game by itself as a game, single player, uh, or just basically what the game offers, uh, being a really good looking game, being a sandbox, having enough features, all that stuff like that. I start thinking of one grade, but then I think about the amount of fun I have in certain situations with certain people and that I can't have that anywhere else. And I start going, I start, I, I start seeing two different grades, two very different grades. Um, I start seeing uh, a potential for an A when I start thinking about playing this game at its peak, when I'm playing with friends and having fun and shit. And then I start thinking about the B's when I'm playing, you know, like B, B minus, uh, when uh when i'm just floating around looking at it so i'm like yeah this is a good looking game i mean it's 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 fucking polished it's triple a it's it's really good looking so uh i feel like i have to give it somewhere in the middle so i'm gonna go b plus um which i do kind of feel like is pretty high but um like i said when i'm when i'm having a blast of this game with people it's like an a experience for me i'm like really having fun and i'm like thinking about wanting to do that again but the game itself without those people um, doesn't have enough to it for me to merit that the experience does. It's really, it's a, it's really interesting. I can't really think of another game that has that much of a difference for me when it comes to the way I view it. Sure. Um, so yeah, I have to give it a B plus, which I think is a fair grade for the game. Um, I, I think it has potential of going higher and I really hope they, uh, put the work in to reach that potential. But, uh, otherwise it's, it's really fun. I love it. And once good, it's fucking great. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go B minus. I think the game is very fun. It is definitely a very solidly built game, um, and it has honestly uh, probably endless potential uh, to to add on to it to to make it more and bigger and just constantly improving. Um, that just comes down to you know, if they want to do that or not. So, but that being said, uh, it does have a lack of uh, things to do long-term and is only something I can play with people. So the window in which I'm playing it shrinks. So yeah. I can't give it um, an A at all, but I definitely don't think it's a C game. It's way too like fun when it's fun to be a C. It's too good to be a C. Yeah. yeah. I, even if I don't, 
even if you didn't like playing this game, I don't think you give it a C. It's too it's too polished. It's too well made. Well, like, like I said, it, it has such unique features to it too that you're not getting in other games. Just like the, to repeat the being able to show people the map thing. It's like so like uh, such a great idea and so useful, and yet who's doing it? <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I use those features. That's what I'm saying. They're yeah. great. Oh, gotcha. But no one else is putting them in their games. Oh yeah, for sure. And I and I we've said this for years. Me and you are on the same page on this. But like one of the things I loved about like um, Fancy Star Online and Fancy Star Universe is there's all these like random social features. Which yeah, doing the missions, doing raids, doing all the shit is fun. That's the fucking bread and butter of it. But like fucking, um, but the social features is what what adds character to when you're not doing those missions, when you're hanging out with people, when mm-hmm. you're chilling. Like you 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 create better experiences, social experiences with people when you're sitting around just having fun and, and being able to tell stories about what you did versus just like, oh, did you fight the boss? Yeah, I fought the boss. Did you beat him? Yeah. Oh, was it hard? Yeah, it was pretty difficult. I died like three times. And like that's the story. That's yeah. fine. That's just kind of relaying info to each other. But like if you're playing a game like this, you're like, oh yeah, fucking we were drinking fucking alcohol and getting drunk and trying to drive the ship, and then like a goddamn megalodon came out and slammed us into an island, and Chris walked off the ship, and <laughs> yeah, like all the yeah. all this shit, and like you know, it's just those small things of like being able to look at your compass and while you're talking to someone, just go like, oh yeah, we got to go northwest, and just show them the compass. Um, small things like when I was playing with Jeremy, fucking I, I fucking. He's like, hey, grab that. And I, gr- I grabbed the, the fucking tome. And he's like, it doesn't do anything? And I was like, it's not doing anything for me. And like, I, I just pressed the hand button and put it out. And as soon as I did, he's like, and grabbed it and just walked off. I was like, damn, all right. <laughs> like, were you just ready to go, <laughs> give me that shit? <laughs> um, and just stuff like that. Like, you yeah. know, just those small little details, man. I love that shit. So I think that's that's one of the bigger things they got to add is just more of that kind of stuff. Because mm-hmm. I fucking love it. But yeah. Yeah. I, I like I, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say about it other than um, it just it needs more. Yeah, I agree. So, And I I, I have to emphasize, um, I really enjoy this game. I really like it. I think it's fucking awesome. Um, when I say I want more content, I mean that in the most loving way possible. Like yeah. like I want I want more from this experience because I, th- I think it's so fucking good. You want a reason to stay in the game yeah. for longer. Yeah, I don't want to leave it because I'm out of shit to do. Yeah. Um, We're out of things to buy. Yeah. Yeah. Or out of experiences to have, even yeah. though it's kind of hard in a game like that because it's all dynamic and it's random people and it, you can have voice chat. So you're always going to be able to run into experiences that you didn't have before, which is genius. But add more things to add more ways to have dynamic events happen, mm-hmm. more things and stories to be told and stuff like that. And that's that's what this game does. So just strengthen that. For sure. So, yeah. B plus, B minus. Mm-hmm. Let us know in the comments. What did you guys think of Sea of Thieves? Did you play it? Did you not play it? Why haven't you played it? If you've played it, are you a fan of it? Did you play it and you stopped playing it? Are you still playing it? Do you love playing it? Do you play it by yourself? Do you enjoy it by yourself? Do you play it with your friends only? Do you love it when you play with your friends? What would you like to see them add to this game? Or do you think there's enough in the game? Do you know about a roadmap uh, of where they're going in the future with this game? Please link it in the comments. YouTube will hide that from me because they'll think you're spamming shit. I'll find it eventually. But uh, I'll check it out then. And uh, yeah, give Sea of Thieves a grade. What would you grade it? Uh, do you think it's a C game? Do you think it's a D game? Do you fucking hate pirates that much? And uh, yeah, let's know everything you're thinking about when it comes to Sea of Thieves. But that's going to do it for the last episode of Game of the Month on Tasty Loot Gaming for 2019. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this episode. Make sure to check out our other episodes. Check us out on Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook, and TikTok at Tasty Loot Gaming. Check out our streams. Links down below. Um, we're on, we we got a Discord. You can talk to us anytime, all time. We're on uh, iTunes, Spotify, and other podcast platforms. If you prefer to listen to us, and yeah, uh, in case we don't see you, fucking hopefully you guys have a good and safe New Year's Eve into New Year's. If you're gonna be partying, fucking do it responsibly. If I'm not, I may do a stream. Possibly, we'll see what happens. Um. And yeah, I'm tired. So, uh, my name's Seth. I'm Chevy. Till the next episode, which will be Tasty Cast. Yeah. Because no Tasty Tuesday. Unless you stream, that's it. Yeah, something's coming. You guys know. Till then, have a good week, guys, and take it easy.